Hello, everybody. This is Found Mimic back for The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Episode, let's call it 23.5. Remember how I had that one issue with... Um... I had that one issue with my microphone. Well, it happened again, and it cut off my recording halfway through. Rather than try to salvage it, I decided to uh, to uh, finish the run as it was, and then just record another one in the place of it. Unfortunately, I ended up losing as Lilith on Isaac, of course. Um, it was not the best of runs, but it wasn't the worst of runs either. So it was neither the best of times nor the worst of times. Rather, I will continue with another character to try to to defeat Isaac and get my last two. Hopefully I'll have more luck with this one. So, since I'm thinking about it, why not do Samson? It's been a while. Several runs since i played Samson, and he's quite enjoyable if you have enough red hearts to deal with. Curse of the Lost. I do not like Cur Curse of the Lost. I hope I've made that clear by now. I like being able to see where I am. But, whatever. I mean, I could always take out a pen and paper, but who does that? I mean, <laughs> really? Also, seed. T-H-1-F. P-G-F-4. That sounds about right. I don't know what it sounds about right about, but... Hey. I'm not the one paying attention here. I just have to play the game. You're the one who has to piece through everything I say. Alright. Ooh, what's this? Spiders. I hate spiders. I wish I could get one of those bombs. Unfortunately, I was not lucky in that sense. If I get a bomb, I can get another bomb in there, I think. But I need one to begin with. Um, and to do that, I first need either a bomb to drop randomly, or to get a key somewhere and then get money for the shop. Either one will work, although which one will happen, I have no idea. Actually, there's no way to get the other bomb, I can think of it while also getting the tinted bomb. That is, there's a way to get the penny and the bomb, but why would I do that? Run away! I have to be very careful in those sorts of rooms in order to know the way out. I like to go clockwise, so I'm gonna go here next. Seems like the right decision given that I found the treasure room. And I'm on my way. I like damage ups. I mean, even though Samson has his whole bloody lust thing, it's still good to have other sources. Harlequin Baby is not very good at all. I mean, it's better than, say, Brother Bobby, I think, unless it does less damage, which is possible given the size of its tears, but I'm gonna assume it does exactly as much damage, in which case it's much better. Awesome bombs! That means I can get uh, Spirit Hearts. Soul Hearts, whatever you want to call them. What is what is their official name? Soul Hearts? I think it's Soul Hearts. I'm gonna call them whatever I feel like calling them, though. It's like I call Black Hearts Black Hearts, but sometimes they call them Dark Hearts. Because why not? Although I don't think I have on this, um... I don't think I have on the series so far. It's just something I reckon they call them. I might have called them that on the Rebirth ones. I don't know. I can hardly remember the names of actual things in this game. I can't remember everything I decide to call them in lieu of an actual name. I'm gonna go get that Spirit Heart before I... Well, Tinted Rock. There's no guarantee it's a Spirit Heart, but you know what I mean. Before I run too far away. Whoa. Uh, that's usually a sign that someone will pop up like now. AVG! I think it was AVG. Probably. Grabbing a spirit heart? I would love to get... Um... What you call it? Uh... The IV bag. That would be very good. The razor will work, but... Uh, it's not as good. I'm not gonna yet look for the shop. If I come across it, I come across it, but I don't really need it or anything. I mostly care about the boss. Come on, you can go. 
I will blow you up if necessary. Come on. La -de -de -da. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah, not him back in. What's enough damage? There we go. I could blow it up, but why would I do that? Uh, no. Not interested. Instead, I will kill these guys. Whoa. That was close. Somehow I dodged it. Although I'm doing a rather good job of dodging with uh, the one character where dodging isn't necessarily a priority. I mean, it's still important because I won't. I don't want to die. Seems like you can kill Ra Ooh. kill Ragman's head with sustained fire, even at base damage. Whoa! Brought it back to life. I think Is that would happen. Looked like it was that. It looked like that's what happened. Oh, I see. He bring. It leaves the bandages behind them when they die, and he brings those back to life. That's interesting. Ah. Alright. And he's dead now. Take that. Okay, more HP. More HP is good as Samson. Gives me more to work with, more hearts that I can get in order to heal myself after I get hit intentionally or otherwise. And given he has a bloody lust, getting hit intentionally is actually not a bad strategy. I never said it was a good strategy, just not a bad one. I don't want to use glass cannon. However, it I do have plenty of that. I don't know if it triggers bloody lust or not. I don't think it does. I can test it, but first I want to find a heart so I don't, you know, die immediately after I use it. Oh wait, I'll take away the But I'll take away the spirit heart and I don't want that. I actually want the Devil Room. Admittedly, I don't want to lose the health associated with the Devil Room, but I still want it. Even if it has nothing, at least it'll mean I can get Angel Rooms, which won't lose me any health ever. And potentially give me health, which is good as this character. I like the thought of having Glass Cannon instead of what it does now, where it sets you to want half a red heart if you have any red health. Um, rather than that, I like the idea of it putting you in a lost-like state where if you get hit in that room, you die. That would make it a very interesting item. If you think you can wipe out the room with the one shot, or if you think you're in a good enough position, or if it's a desperate act, then you can do that and put yourself in a better position. I think it would be really cool. And still fulfills the name. Uh, I don't know how I missed that one. Because it's not like it... I mean, it's what it did before with not taking away any soul hearts either, that, that was kind of stupid. It's glass cannon. It's supposed to make you weak. What it does now is kind of overkill, though. I would say. But who am I? I'm just a random player. A random player who decided his time was valuable enough for everyone else to watch it. <laughs> awesome, a chest. What's in it? A pill? And what's the pill? Tears down. I was not happy with that decision. One could even say I was very unhappy with it. What's in here? Anything interesting? I do like there's options. Let's see what you give me. I apologize, donation machine, but I need it. I almost want to take the soul converter. Soul Converter would actually pretty be pretty good with Samson, given that red health is very useful with him. He's one of the few characters where you want red health, because red health is a lot easier to get back. And since you want to get hit a lot as Samson, it makes it... Well, you don't want to, but you taking damage is not a bad thing, necessarily, with him. You know what I mean. Um... Where is the secret room? It's hiding from me. It, it looks like it's in one of those two um, spots. 
which is bad. It means I won't be able to find it. So instead, I'm going to go to the boss room. Does... There's options affect Krampus now. I know it affects other things. Other things other than just this... Like, these particular boss fights. I just don't know what those things are. And I know, um... More options does as well. I'm gonna take this screw, because even though more health would be nice, I do need to make up for that tears down. I don't really want that. I do like luck ups. I really like that picking up coins occasionally gives you a luck up because luck ups are very valuable but also rather rare. You get them from pills and specific items and that's about it. As of the original game that is. Now you get it in from coins as well. And that's really good. Whoa, dodge. Whoa. It's hard to dodge these guys because it's very hard to predict which way they're going to be shooting. Unless there's some secret about them I don't know, like they shoot in a particular direction all the time. Which is entirely possible. Balls, Balls of steel. Of steel. Ah. ah. There we go. And I got a spirit heart. I don't like the bombs though. Why did I pick up glass cannon? Chances are I'm just going to accidentally use it when I don't want to. I mean, I guess I could save it for when I'm down to half a heart anyway and would die no matter what happens. It's certainly a possibility. I wouldn't put being in that sort of situation but past me. You get what I mean. I'm sure you do. Power pill. Power pill. Power pill is awesome. I'm pretty sure it's better than the actual um, game. Oh, health down. But I do like the tears up. So I have tears up in my rotation. I don't like the health down, but I do like the tears up. I think that summarizes my position right now. Eh, may as well. Nope. Aw, I'm sad. Huh, I didn't know rooms could be in that spot. I mean, it makes sense. I just didn't know it. Like, I knew secret rooms could be there. I just didn't know it could be in the actual regular rooms there. Learn new things about this game all the time. Like, all the rare room combinations as well. Health up. That Wow, that makes up for it. This is a very balanced pill rotation here. Given that so far every down pill I've gotten, I've also found its corresponding up pill. To my knowledge. That was a lot of bombs. You know, that might have been the secret room up there. Let me go check. Did I do boss rush as him? I don't think so. I think I've only done it as like one or two characters. I've been very slow at this time. I'm gonna go check up here because the chance of there being something there is pretty high. Nope, there turned out to be nothing. It wouldn't be the first time. Well, Harlequin Baby is sort of pulling its weight. Well, pulling its weight is probably the wrong phrase given that it isn't exactly detrimental in any way, but... And doesn't cost me anything. Other than a treasure room that could have potentially had something better. That's something it certainly could have been. So in that sense, it was detrimental. And you're gonna die right about now. Right about now. Right about now. There we go. It took longer than I would, would have expected. Coins everywhere. I like coins. Maybe I'll find the shop. The shop might be to the northeast there. I hope it's not, but it probably is. Oh, right. It's not actually open yet. Because I'm silly like that. I do like Deadeye. Like, it, it's... 
As far as I know, it's not a downgrade in any way. Which means that it's purely up to you whether or not you use Deadeye. I like that. The Hermit, the Devil. I'll take the Hermit and teleport. The Hermit. Ah. Uh, I don't really like either of those items. So I'm going to donate to 200 and grab the Spirit Heart. And then I'm going to leave and then go to the boss room. Little Larva. Oh, that's the one that um makes flies whenever you hit poop. I think. Yep. I was right. That's rare. Now that I've got plenty of those, heading up this way. Oh, that's right. This is a uh, Excel floor. I forgot about that. I like how the dead eye thing glows. It's a really cool effect. Alright, and in the chest is nothing I want. I actually have to go back this way, since I remember that it's a... XL floor, and that there's possibly another treasure room here, and it turns out that there is. See how that works? I thought something, I checked it, and it was true. I'm practically Sherlock Holmes. Lots of coins. I do like coins. Leo. Leo could be useful. If I run into something. Uh, I'll try blowing up this wall, because that might be the secret room. It is the secret room. I don't know why I didn't make the noise. Is the... I just realized music is off. I don't know why the music was off. I don't know how I didn't notice the music was off. I mean, I, I know I used to, and I like getting Tammy's head there. I usually play with the music off when I'm doing it on my own, because I could like to listen to other things. But I never turned it off. So I don't know why it was off. Because I haven't done one a run on my own in a while. So I don't know. I'm confused. Why did I shoot there? That makes me lose Deadeye. I mean, I didn't, but... Could've. High shot speed is not good for Deadeye. It makes it harder to, um... Guess where you're gonna end up. Makes it harder to angle shots, which is a lot of what it takes to be accurate. Ugh. I mean, I don't mind. I am Samson, but... I still don't want to take damage. Does Tammy's head affect Deadeye? I don't know, actually. These guys are tough. They actually took a shot from him. The frail. Dun dun da! Ooh, I forgot that he still keeps going. Almost dead. It's funny that Deadeye really does mess with how you... Ooh, I almost took the wrong one. Well, actually that has potential of tears up, whereas this is just shot speed plus evil. And range. I'll take this. What does it give me? Hematemesis. Hematemesis, which I don't really care for. One makes you small. I'm okay with being smaller. Speed, speed ups aren't bad. Speed up. I'll gladly take them. Boom. Flies. I got lucky about the... I think Leo saved me from getting hit there, which is rare. Usually Leo gets you hit because you lose cover. Ugh. This is more confusing than a usual fight is. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage. Seriously. I don't usually take this much damage. I wonder why. I think it's because um, Deadeye really has me on edge. Ugh. I'm almost dead here. How am I almost dead from a hollow fight? Not a hollow, a uh, husk fight. That was awful. I'll be honest there. I'm definitely taking blue cap. I'm gonna go and find the some health. 
That's plenty of health. I'll be fine for now. Next floor. Hmm, what could it be? To the north, and we have... Alright. Not bad. I think the buffer of Deadeye, as I mentioned before, is to... I'm okay with that. Uh, it's to make it so that if, um, if you kill an enemy, it does not mean you automatically lose it if you overshoot them. You can still spray and pray, basically. To a degree. Okay. This makes it easier, because I, I can at least guess where the, there's nothing fruitful. Does hitting them wrong count as hitting them for Deadeye? I, I imagine it would. Hangman. I do like Hangman, but I'm gonna take Emperor. Come on, what are you? I'll take the Ghost Baby, even though it's probably not that useful to me. Okay, to the south. It's to the left here. Nothing. To the south? I may as well. It'll make me do more damage, I mean. Hey. I like Guppy's paw, but I'm not gonna use it because I'm Samson. And that turned out to be valuable. They could have easily screwed me over. Don't care. Moving on. And you're all gonna die. You're all going to die. I don't know why I lost that there, but I guess I did. Ah. Whoa. I did not intend to take that damage, although you don't typically intend to take, intend to take damage, but you know what I mean. Don't act so confused by everything I say. The Emperor. Crush all these skulls and hope to get something good. I did not get something good, but it was worthwhile anyway. I think here we have no. That's what we have, no. Or at least that would be what we had if it weren't for the fact that no is actually an uh, item in this game, so that's technically misleading. We did not have the actual item, no. Okay, and there we go. Come on. These enemies are frustrating. I'm not gonna worry about boss rush. I don't think I'm gonna make it anyway. So I may as well just relax a bit. I'm not gonna go back to all the rooms I missed because honestly, they probably don't have anything that useful. Almost got me there. Come on. You're almost dead. And now you are dead. See how that works? Ah. Uh, more health versus tears up. I'm gonna go with the tears up. I think I like that. I mean, there's the damage up of meat, but it's a 0 .3 damage up, which is a third of most damage up items. That's not that good. Uh, I kind of want to, but I think I'll pass for now. Maybe if I find something decent to go along with it. Okay, maybe one of those will be the hero font. I just realized I forgot to take the emperor instead. Whoops. The world. May as well use the world. The chariot. I would rather take the chariot than the hangman, even though the hangman might come in handy. But it might not, that's the thing. Keys that are not very useful to me, but I'm still taking them. Keys are always nice. I may as well go fight the mini boss. Plenty of luck, it'll be someone good. It wasn't someone good, but it was someone. That's all that matters. Probably. I think. 
can't have any cover around me. Awesome, help. It means I can actually go into there now. Mr. Mega's good too. Retro. Oof, retro vision, not a fun one. And these are actually kind of good because I like spare parts. Over here we have to the south. I am not gonna go to the shop. I don't have enough money. Admittedly, there's a good chance I will have enough money, but if I do go there, since I have so much luck ups, but it's not worth it to me. So to the south I go instead. Oh, there goes retrovision. Such a great pill. I wonder why more people don't like it. Midas's touch is not great right now because I only have two coins. It does damage based on how many how many uh, coins you have on you. And as a result, having only three coins is, does not make it very effective. If you have 99 coins, it's basically an instant kill with most things that touch you. So I think it does one damage for every one that it is. I kind of want to take that since there will be a lot less poop from now on. I eh, may as well. I mean, it's basically a trinket version of Magneto. Awesome. Okay, the coins are nice because that just powers up my... Oh, it'll make uh, the bomb play really easy because I can just do this. And because it freezes enemies in place, it means I can get Deadeye from killing them. Oh, and it gives me plenty of money to deal with so I can get more damage. It's less nice. I'd rather have money as power, but... That works too. I don't think of it is money is it is money equals power something I have. I don't know if it Oh, so it only drops a negative. I would have assumed it dropped a second one, but eh. May as well, I guess. I don't know. Uh what was I gonna say? I completely lost track of the conversation there. By conversation, I mean monologue, because that's really what all this is. One really long monologue. I'm gonna guess it's to the, um... Hmm, actually this is kind of tricky. Uh, north. Again, I'm using my method of, I assume it's as far away as possible. I'm right more often than I'm wrong. I don't think of it, I don't think I've ever been explicitly wrong. I just noticed before that... Oh, see. I'm not wrong. But I may as well go to the secret room since I know where it is. Me finding the secret room in the future is a lot less likely given that I will just be going straight to the boss fight. Ted Eye is awesome. It really is. It'd be really cool with Mark, I think. Well. Actually, that depends. Against bosses, it'd be really cool. Against most enemies, it'd be eh. Mostly because they'll be dead and then you'll lose instantly since you have no way of turning off the ability. Hey, only one more guppy item until I get guppy. That's cool, right? Boom. Eh, keys. I don't like keys. Boom. Lots of coins. Thank you, luck. See, you killed him instantly. Alright, and you will die very shortly. Assuming I can actually hit you. I should really be careful about how much damage I'm taking because I have no way of knowing how much health I actually have left. I don't know why I didn't use that earlier. Like, oh, I don't know, when I actually had a lot of the bonus left. Oh well, hindsight 50 50, etc., etc. And you are down. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just gonna head to the boss fight. I have really nothing else to look for. Will I do Hush? That's a good question. I'm gonna see how much health I have on when I finally defeat It Lives. And I will decide at that point. Okay, I did not like that. I probably will not do Hush because I'm, I don't seem to be in a very good position for that. If I have a lot of health, um, if I had a lot of health, Hush might be doable. Well, actually doesn't matter because uh, Bloody Lust won't be much help during Hush. Well, except to kill the pickup enemies, which has its uh, positives. Means I don't have to worry about um, being killed by the legions of zombies, whatever you want to call them, because they're basically zombies. Make no mistake. These sort of blast assists. Apparently, hitting them when they're um, in, still in their death animation still counts too. I think that's interesting. Apparently it forces enemies to attack you too. Like, I mean, it forces enemies towards you, but Super Magnet does. So it's not just a Magneto effect. There we go, he's dead. Uh, I'm definitely gonna take the health. Not only because it's Samson, but because I don't really need range at this point, do I? Uh, not a bad amount of health, but I'm not gonna fight Hush with it. Unless I somehow gain all of it back. And then some, because frankly, I'm not gonna deal with that. Ah. I did not see that coming. Probably should have given he was an eternal fly enemy, but still. Whoa. Maybe this super magnet's more um more of trouble than it's worth. I'm gonna drop it. There we go. And over here, you're dead too. See how that works? Whoa. Uh, I didn't expect that, actually. I probably should have, but. There we go. Two enemies that you can only hurt some of the time. Fantastic. Oh, it's one of the... Is that an invisible enemy? No, oh, it's a spectral enemy. I remember. They can technically go through... Walls? Can they go through walls? I know they can shoot through them. Hematemesis would actually be kind of useful. Because it would give me some health whenever I decide to use it. So long as I don't lose as much. Whoa. Right, he charges four times. I keep forgetting all the variations on Dingle and how they attack. Whereas the, um, the, uh, more diarrhea e one, for lack of a better term, only charges twice. I'm, I'm just gonna take Hematemesis, because the Chariot isn't that good, especially since I don't have any, um, anything in the way of hormones. Although I do have, um, come to think of it, I do have You know what I'm talking about. I have, um... I find the Eternal Fly's behavior kind of interesting. My just touch is what I was going to say. Like, it jumps around. Is that because that's actually what's happening to it, or... Is it just the way it is? Hmm. I kind of want the Chariot. But I'm going to use it to kill the boss. Okay, it wasn't as effective, so I'm kind of glad I decided not to keep it. I'd rather keep the health. Ah, I could do Hush. We'll get it out of the way for later with Samson. And maybe I'll get something useful in the place with a thing. I'm not, I'm not very, being very eloquent today. 
That's what I'm trying to say. I'll try, Hush. I might fail, I might not. I know these patterns really well, but Deadeye might make me kind of um, overzealous and will probably make me take a lot of unnecessary damage. On the other hand, I have a ridiculous amount of health, so... It could really go either way. Hematemesis, the moon. I'm not gonna deal with the moon. Hey, it unlocked both for me. That's nice. I really want Charm of the Vampire. If it were Mom's Perfume, it'd be a more difficult choice, but Charm of the Vampire, yeah. No question. Ah. Double my health, effectively. Or get one of the most badass um, followers possible. This is tricky. I'm gonna go with Cancer. So I've effectively doubled my health now. Ah, uh, may as well grab hum Humbling Bundle. It's not like I need it, but... I'll donate everything I can. Turned out not to be that much, unfortunately. I'm sad. Don't really need the moon. I'm now pretty confident against Hush now that I have, um... Whatchamacallit. Ah, maybe some range would have been nice. Alright. So the hard part is gonna be, um, alternating, keeping my shots on him, and dodging his actual attacks. Because it's not lo I mean... This is not a decision you have to make very often, and, to my knowledge, that you have to make in bullet hells. Usually bullet hells are keep shooting and focus on not getting hit. There aren't very many times where you have to say, I do not want to get hit at all. Okay, now might be better because his shots are probably going to be a bit more erratic. I did not mean to get hit like that. Well, miss him like that, I should say. And the thing about it, it, it makes no real difference against Hush, unless I, I'm underneath the cap. I don't actually know how the um, damage scale works. If it's a direct scale, if it's a max damage you can do against it, I don't know. If it's a max, then it might be disadvantageous to be like this, but... This is the most trouble I've ever had on this part. Usually I crush it pretty quickly. Part of that's because I don't have the range to do so. Alright. Now for the fun part. And dodging. This is the absolute most bullet hell place you can be. It's worse bullet hell than a Mega Satan is, for parts of it anyway. It looks like I'm not quite doing damage as quickly as I might in other cases. That might just be my imagination. Oh, did not mean for that to happen. So the main thing that gives me hope right now is the fact that um, I have double the health. If I didn't have cancer, I would be more concerned. Although I would have pinking shears there. If I didn't have either, well, at that point, you're basically saying, well, if I didn't have the items I have, this would be a completely different run. Uh, no, duh. Turns out, if things would have been different, things would have been different. Okay, this is a lot of enemies to go about killing. On the bright side, the ridiculous amount of enemies means charms up the vampire will be invaluable. I'm quite confident in my ability to win this, just because of the flies and zombies. I don't know why I'm calling them zombies. I don't really call them anything else, but they appear to be dead, so I may as well call them zombies. That's what they feel like. I haven't had to deal with the continuum of shots yet, and those are usually what give me the most trouble. I mean, so long as I can find the safe spots, I should be good. 
but... Okay. These guys don't have as much health as the uh, flies do, so I'm probably good. Okay. Uh, very bad at finding out where the safe spots are. This appears to be one. Okay. I don't know if Deadeye is having any effect on him or not. Oh, wait, I just realized. He can't hit me with those because they are they have very high tier height. Ah. This should be safe. Basically, if you can stand anywhere safely, then you can basically stay there indefinitely for that screen, I should say. Because it'll still avoid you. They, they seem to be pretty consistent. Okay, I, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be able to finish this. Between Charm of the Vampire, Cancer, and, well, the fact that it's down to like a sixth of his health, I should be good. I mean, I haven't even started on my red health. The red health is probably the hardest one for me to lose. Whoa. Ah. Those, uh, beams of death. Destruction. Alright. These continuum shots might not, I might not be so lucky about. But it turns out I am. What do you know? Which basically means you're dead now. It's only a matter of time, Hush. You're going to die. Fun fact, Hush is actually a name I also use for, um, as an alias online, sometimes. In addition to Mimic. Mimic has been my most common one lately, but I also like it for a while. I kinda still like it. Maybe I should use it. Blind Rage. Blind Rage. Oh, I I know that one. It's um, it extends invincibility frames. It's kind of like the item Cross Necklace in Terraria, where literally what it does is make it so that when you get hit, it takes twice as long for you to be hit again really useful. Less so in this game because uh, the damage tends to be more discreet than on Terraria or something similar. In Terraria, for example, you can take constant damage from something like lava, whereas that will make you literally take half as much damage because of how quick. Possibly even less, come to think of it. Black Bean is not worthless. I did not want to get hit. It probably wasn't worth the health, although given I have Charm of the Vampire, I'm not I'm not exactly um, upset that I have to lose that health. I have bigger concerns than my red health right now. Okay. That did some damage. Sammy's head isn't as great, but combined with, um... Whoa. Uh. Combined with Samson's bloody lust and Deadeye, it gets better, despite the, my low number of damage ups. I'm not in a bad position, that is to say. Maybe I should freeze Isaac by running into him, and then just shoot him. That is a valid strategy. But probably not what I should do, given how little health I have at the moment. Admittedly, I have hematemesis, but I might die before I can actually use that. I don't have the Polaroid, after all. Oh, but then again, I do have... Um, Cancer, which means that, that it's actually twice as much health as I thought it was. Cancer still confuses me sometimes because I forget about it, how specific it is, that only after you take damage once does it do the, the wait for effect. 
wafer effect is invaluable, is it? Well, it's not invaluable. For example, it's totally useless with a loss. But it is extraordinarily valuable. Which is rare for a defensive item in Isaac. It's usually the damage items that are invaluable. And I win! Awesome! Finally I broke my losing streak there for a second. So with that, if you liked what you saw, well then, like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Polaroid already? I didn't know that. Hmm. I thought I only hit one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. I thought it was six times you had to beat it. Well, maybe I was just wrong about that. Oh well, if you liked what you saw, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Otherwise, I will see you next time on The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth.